Hi, I'm Melinda Rose. And I'm Laura Marshall. And this is Light Matters for December 28, 2011. In this special year-end edition of Light Matters, we look back at the five stories Photonics.com readers chose as the most popular of 2011, share our editor's top picks, and ask you to reveal your favorites. Using a teleporter and a paradoxical cat, researchers achieved the first ever transfer of a complex set of quantum information from one point to another, opening the way for quantum communication networks. This was the number five story on Photonics.com this year. The value of the discovery is that it allows quantum information to be moved around quickly and easily for the first time. A story we covered just last week on the show is fourth on the list. An ultra-fast imaging system developed at MIT differs from other high-speed systems in that it can capture light scattering below the surfaces of solid objects, acquiring data at a rate of one trillion exposures per second. The camera was intended for use in experiments where light passes through or is emitted by a chemical sample. Because the system requires multiple passes to produce its videos, it can't record events that are not precisely repeatable. The way in which light scatters is useful information for several practical applications, such as in designing better camera flashes. A novel microscopic device developed at Cornell fits on the head of a pin, contains no lenses or moving parts, costs just pennies to make, and could revolutionize an array of fields from surgery to robotics. It comes in at number three. It's not going to be a camera with which people take family portraits, but there are a lot of applications out there that require just a little bit of dim vision, one of its creators said. Photonics.com's second most popular story was about work at UC Davis to transform iPhones into medical quality imaging and chemical detection devices. With materials that cost about as much as a typical app, the decked out smartphones use their heightened senses to perform detailed microscopy and spectroscopy. The enhanced iPhones can resolve features on the order of 1.5 microns, small enough to identify different types of blood cells, and could help doctors and nurses diagnose blood diseases in developing countries. The modified phones can also transmit real-time data for further analysis and diagnosis. BMW's plan to replace LED headlights with lasers in one of its concept cars was the top story of 2011 among Photonics.com readers. Laser lights are more efficient than LEDs and consume less than half the energy, which would save on power consumption and, in turn, fuel costs. The intensity of the laser light poses no possible risk to humans, animals, or wildlife when used in car lighting, BMW said. That's because the original bluish light is not emitted directly, but is first converted using a fluorescent phosphor material into a pure white light that is suitable for reuse in road traffic. The BMW spokesman likened eye safety and the phosphor conversion to available commercial products such as laser video projectors and CD and DVD players. Well, now it's time to get our editor's picks for top stories of the year. Well, no one here was surprised when Laura picked a food story. No, it, it's about food safety. This is the hypoallergenic peanuts from the University of Florida. It turns out that pulsed UV light reduces the allergenic potential of three potent peanut proteins by up to 90%. The light changes the allergens so that human antibodies can't recognize them. Yeah, and that means that the body can't overreact to them. This story really struck me, and not just because peanut butter is one of my all-time favorite foods. Um, the research here could ultimately change the lives of millions of highly allergic people. I think nobody should have to worry about whether their food could kill them, and nobody should have to live without peanut butter either. Researchers actually are now working on a one-step roasting and allergen reduction process to produce hypoallergenic whole peanuts. In November, we reported NASA's breakthrough in super black materials, structures designed to absorb as much light as possible. This story was feature editor Lynn Savage's top pick of 2011. NASA's new material is exciting because it absorbs nearly 100% of the ultraviolet, visible, infrared, and far infrared light that hits it. The material, a thin coating of multi-walled carbon nanotubes positioned vertically on various substrate materials, absorbs 99.5% of UV invisible light, slightly less in the longer bands. This broadband absorbance could drastically reduce noise in space-based telescopes and other sensors. Next, let's get news editor Ashley Paddock's take on the year's top stories. Yes, well, I appreciate how curiosity can lead to game-changing discoveries, and my pick for the top story of 2011 is definitely an example of that. A pair of Harvard physicists, not biologists as one might expect, wondered if there was a fundamental reason why laser light doesn't appear to occur in nature. They also wanted to see if they could achieve biolasing. We were interested in fusing optics and biology in a non-conventional way, Multigather told Photonics.com. Our first work in this area was to show a laser made out of something that's alive. This is exciting work with perhaps far-reaching potential. Yes, and I'm sure the scientific community agrees, as the story was widely covered, including on Light Matters and Photonics.com. 
You'll also find current comment from the researchers in the January issue of Photonic Spectra in Lynn Savage's article on medical markets driving laser advances. My pick, technically two picks, involves controlling light in photonic chips. In July, engineers at Columbia University said they had built optical nanostructures that can slow photons and fully control light dispersion. For the first time, simultaneous phase and zero index observations were made on the chip scale and at the infrared wavelength, a major telecommunications breakthrough. In August, Caltech and UC San Diego engineers announced a new way to isolate light on a photonic chip, allowing it to travel in only one direction by designing a new type of optical waveguide to channel the light. With their silicon-based device, they became the first to isolate light with a linear material. An article on their work appears in the October issue of Photonic Spectra. And speaking of Spectra, managing editor Laura Marshall is back. Hi again. Of course, this year's Photonics excitement doesn't stop at research. On next week's show, we'll look at the top business stories of the year. In the meantime, please tell us what you think were the most important Photonics stories of the year by emailing us at lightmatters@photonics.com. And don't just tell us. Our iPad 2 giveaway is going on, and you can enter by sharing a link to this or any episode of Light Matters with a friend or colleague. So tell someone about your own top Light Matters story, include a link to the show and copy us, and maybe you'll win an iPad 2. You can do that easily by clicking the link under the Light Matters player on our homepage at photonics.com. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for another 5 Minutes to Enlightenment. Thank you.